Welcome back, buddy, to the final episode of Let's, Let's Play Digimon Rumble Arena 2. Ah, I'm so excited, I can't even speak properly. You know why I'm excited? Because, boom! That voice. Wait a minute, it wasn't that. Kind of gilmon ish I guess that makes sense. So, I'm playing this on hard, just, I don't know, to be fun. I don't actually know how difficult the hard AI is, so let's see. Hopefully, that won't get in the, my way of actually showing you guys what attacks Black Gilmon has. If Gilmon, though, is any indication, Black Gilmon should probably wipe the floor with some of these Digimon once you get up to the higher evolutions. That was a very fun, wasn't it? Friggin' shield attack. So we'll have to see. But, either way, I have some fun stuff to try at the end of the episode as well, so I'm looking forward to things. So, to start off. I don't actually remember what the normal attacks are. I'm pretty sure you had the normal one to punch for the uppercut, actually, so that doesn't seem any different. Well, that's different. That's just a one off attack. And you stay, stay in place while you use it, too. It seems like it'll be so useful if you're moving. Hey. Oh yeah, I always thought that was so weird. One thing to show off real quick. If I can just get the chance, because I want to get off a combo on Panama if you let me. I'm trying to use this attack. Thank you, I just want to see what that was like. So when you use your uh, smash slam attack now, you do it on your elbow instead of just doing it like normal. I don't know what the significance of this is, but it's something to see, I guess. Man, this game really doesn't like interpreting my inputs when I'm in the middle of a combo. If I try to go through an entire combo, or I try to go through a normal 3 hit combo and then do a down special, it really happens. Shield attack is pretty much the same as always. And it's just as beautiful. Down special seems the same from what I can tell. Looks like up special is the same. Oh, but yeah, something that seems way inferior as your... Oh, right. Seems really inferior as your uh, neutral special, actually, so I'm not seeing much improvement over. Oh, but it's spammable. That's nice. So, as I have to say, I don't see much improvement over the original, but. Uh -huh. Oh, I think something I forgot to mention during the uh, previous two episodes is something that I never really. Ah, crap, what is it? I think it's something that I was... I believe... I believe... I have to remember this right. When you hold an enemy as any of the Black Digimon... I'll try to show it off if I can, but it's hard enough to grab enemies normally. And I'm playing enemies on hard, so I don't know how that'll work out. But, I believe... And they're gonna break out my grabs right away anyway, so it's not like this is gonna help or anything. But, I believe, if you ever you grab another Digimon, as a black Digimon, you actually drain them of their data. Can't confirm that, though. Look at that. That's pretty much the same thing as before. I'm not noticing much of a difference between Gilmon and Black Gilmon so far. That's pretty much the same. Except you have a hold a rock instead now. Boom. I guess it does a little bit more damage. I wasn't looking at how much damage I was doing. That's different. Not necessarily in a good way. Well, they have multiple health ups. Go away. Oh, yeah, you can see actually. There's the end little animation for it. Me draining. Can you not? No, if I. If the AI would be so kind as to let me show you. Yeah, see? You might be able to see it for just a moment there. I was draining. Pumon's. Well, come on life. Go down! What? The lightning goes through this darn platform. Oh, that's interesting. Go up in the air and then use your up at the same time. <laughs> it just goes everywhere. It's amazing. Oh! So every time I've actually landed Rock Crusher, it's ending the KO of my opponent. Should I admit? Let that lead me to believe that it's absurdly powerful. 
I'm actually kind of curious how powerful it actually is. Since I haven't gotten a good... Okay, well, according to that, it doesn't do crap for damage. Oh my god! Piamon, calm down! Oh, come on, Piamon, you don't need that kind of comeback right now. Oh, he needs a nice little explosion behind him when this thing goes away. I question Digivolve show. Oh. If I can get up there, get some isolation for a minute, yeah. and heal, I was thinking, no, oh, and then just kill by being on fire. I don't want that dude. It's not gonna do much of anything. But what the? Huh? Why? I also healed now for some reason. Why am I healed? Okay. What if the AI is actually gonna like go after me now that I'm a pinata in hard mode? <laughs> the, the game was saying, what was that? You just teleported through me to, specifically to not hit me. Yeah, I've been playing the entire game on normal mode. And everything seemed pretty easy, so I figured I might as well draw off hard mode. I had certain other puns as well, so I figured I might as well throw a hard, hard mode into it. It's not seeing especially interesting so far. Yeah, so it's seeing pretty much the same as, uh, Gilmon's usual one, actually. I'm just kind of disappointed. Oh. Could I? Somehow? Someway? Sometime? Could be nice. The AI isn't that dumb. <laughs> the guy's considering it. It's not happening, though. Come, Bergermon. I'm baiting you. BOOM! What the? Game! Game! Thank you. you win. I won. Bah. What? what are these hitboxes? My god. Whatever. Pants? Yeah, I'm sure. Black Yomon has such noticeable, grotesquely large pants that, of course, there must be a punishment. Incited in reaction. Hi, Gomon. I would like to fight Gilmon one day. I just want to see. As you may have, or from last episode, I just want to see a battle between the Black Digimon and the Digimon of Norm. Do. It's just a fire breath. It's not fire. I don't know what to call that, frankly, but it's not fire. Oh, he's saying something breath. I think it's like pirate or something. I can't tell. Because I never have my volume pop high enough on my TV. You can usually hear stuff fine in my videos. Up we go. Get a thing? Not to get a thing. Okay. Whoa, that was awkward. But with the Flaker won't do you much good when there's an explosive in front of you. Otherwise, that was actually a really good and well timed idea. So you try, Gomon, you tried. That's all that matters, except for you're dead. Because you tried, but didn't do well enough. I'm the ha! How did that hurt me just by laying near me? I even had a moment of not exploding. Shall we? I don't know how I managed to blow it up without getting hurt myself. So what's this fun, flame, breath, flame breath like? Not good enough to keep on going on away. Go away. Stop! That's not what I needed. Oh, see, I was wondering if there was anything up there. Got my answer. The thing I was trying to throw. Well, fine, I won't use a charge hack after all. Guess I don't need to bother seeing if. Oh, that was an oddly high throw. I guess I'll oh, be nice to have earlier. I just don't need to see if my ultra attack is any different from the usual Guillaume lines because nothing else seems to be too different from the original Guillaume, and it was the same of 
as Metal Garurumon too, and that was part of Goblimon's line, Black Goblimon's line, which was pretty much the exact, or which was very, very different from the original Goblimon, so. Looks like we're not changing Ultras up at all, which makes me kind of sad. Oh well. I'm a stand up guy. Wonderful. Down, 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 down. Oh, I, I was, saw Goblimon, I was so happy for a moment, and then I realized I'm not Black Goblimon anymore. I mean, so happy to see that last episode. Where? Where are you? Where? Where were you, Galak? Where were you, Gabumon? I'm so distraught now that you had been missing. I missed you so much that I can't even form words to describe it now. I blame this entirely on you and those weird dangly little arms on yours that shouldn't even fit you. Since your pelt's making something much bigger. What the? How am I hanging off that ledge? Go. Oh. Yeah, that's. You better run. Boom! Kick! No. It's not okay, okay? It's not! Get back here! No! Invincibility will not last you. Or help you get through your life. Normal any amount of Digivolution. Well. I see you on as me. Gaumon has made some good decisions in life as of late. I think Gaumon now realizes what I was just saying and has kind of accepted the fate he comes along with what they've done. I wish I had some kind of attack that normally had a ton of knockbacks so I could actually have the satisfaction of knocking them like across the entire screen. So, Revenge has been taking on Gaumon for making me so sad last episode. That was a really cool ending animation, actually. Not necessarily the animation itself, but the stance looked beautifully primal, despite seeing so odd and unfitting for Gaumon. He is my Gaumon after all, but still, just Gaumon's form doesn't blend to it very well. My right, come on, <laughs> Look at that. My Gaumon looks very, very unhappy with life. And who shall that be taken out on? Knockout battle. Survive until the end to win. Ready? Oh, no, Ready? Go. There you go. You aren't quite get the timing on this thing. No, the black quote unquote fire that Black Yomon seems to be able to produce. It reminds me a little bit of the ones of you actually. The dark lit planets. The black well, I don't remember which planet it was, but the black power can use you could use. It's kind of cool. It's very powerful. It seems very fitting for one such as Black Gilmon's self. No, oh, crap. Whoa! Hi. So hey, how you can break out combos so easily in this game? Ah, darn it! What? That looked a little bit awkward, didn't it? What are you doing, Palmon? The Palmon's just like bugging into a rather um, series of attacks. Not any kind of transition between any of them. I just hurt myself for some life. I did. No way. Direct approach isn't helping much. Although part of it is, I'm not used to using a direct approach in this level in the first place. Whoa, what was that? Oh. I know sleep spores are big damage. That's like permanent sleep spores. So hand to hand isn't quite as nice on hard mode, is it? How can you not? Man. I spies you in this game is just the way it is with the not liking combos at all. I still just like. I keep, I'm trying to get platform and it's not happening. So I'm still used to having. Up attacks actually making me move up. There we go. It's a nice anti air attack, isn't it? It's up special, even if you can't really use it for most other practical purposes. Okay. This will be the edge I need. If I can actually hit Palmon! This game doing what it usually does for some reason with me not being able to 
do anything but a neutral attack after, at the end of a combo. I don't know why I can never do an up or down special at the end of a combo. It just doesn't seem to work. I do an, a neutral one every single time. That was an interesting face that we got from the man of the hour. Anyway, so- Oh yes! This game finally gives me what I want! Thank you, game. Thank you very much. Yes, I know, I know. You don't need to remind me that I'm seeing Gilmon. That loading screen. Gilmon indeed! It's beautiful in every way, shape, and form. And Palmon's just kinda here for the ride. This is what I'll let do. One final beautiful battle at one last round here in Ice Palace, which I haven't seen since the very first playthrough of the game, so I was happy to see it. Or I am happy to see it again. That was why I wanted to come here, just because I hadn't seen it in so long. It's a cool place. It's actually a very nice arena. I'm very happy to be playing in. That was nice. And I want to, uh, go into that. Let me go into the whirlpool thing. There we go. It actually teleports you between the two. It's kind of cool. I don't really see what type of application there is in it, especially with how difficult for me to pull off. It's fun to do, anyways. Go away. You just really need to be wary of this thing. How it can be. If somebody gets something works their way up here, you need to not be under it, basically, as you can probably imagine. Whoa, what was that? It's constantly trying to make that thing fall again. This has lots of items that are generously placed. They're constantly spawning at these two corners. This is fun as well. Hey. Now it's kind of unfair, I suppose. But it's fun regardless. That's the point of it, isn't it? We're all here to have fun. Regardless of the legitimacy of it. Extra life there, but oh, I want to get a nice finish on Adamon. Fine. Oh, great. Just need something to end make this end more quickly. Alright, guys. And kill the music. Whoa, hi, Phantomon. Phantomon, go away! Man, Phantomon was after me. Oh, man. And now I'm done with Geomon, too. That's dull. You guys just had to mess it up. Just had to make things unsatisfying in a new way. You not, Phantomon? No! God! Be quiet, Phantomon, please. Phantomon! Stop going after me! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems like if you get away from Phantomon quickly enough, I raise mistakes. If you get away from Phantomon quickly enough, uh, it seems like they'll move on to search for a new captive. Oh, hey! Phantomon disappeared. I thought Phantomon lasted for the entire fight. Boom! Ah. To make things that simple. Well, I didn't realize that spinning fire make you fly forwards, but okay. Weird spin attack that's kind of cool, but odd at the same time. Nope! Don't, I probably sh don't need to use the chandelier as fun as it is. I'll just do that. But, there's just a battle of flames that somehow ended in a stalemate. So I like using that little... Pound attack that for some reason placed me on my elbow. Boom! Punt. Could you please? Yes, you did. And my opponent was entirely engulfed in flame in a variety of ways after being beaten <laughs> left, right, upside down, and sideways. But whatever. So with <laughs> a grin that can only be given by. Victory. Huh. <sighs> the Digimon Victorious with pants kicked. That'll have to be it for the final playthrough of Let's Play Digimon Rumble Arena 2. 
And I think because I have a couple things to show off, and because I already explained things why I thought about the game during the credits, I'm not gonna. Oh man, I want to see that little pose. I'm not going to uh, sit the credits again. <laughs> bye, Diamond. Bye, bye. Bye. It's amazing. So I'm gonna skip through the credits again, probably. I might talk about it a little bit. I don't know. I'm in a different place this time. I right, Gobblemon and Gobblemon. Fight all three black Digimon. That's beautiful. No, three black Digimon. Two black Digimon. Two of them are counterparts. I love this. I've still wanted to see Gobblemon like Gobblemon. The game has finally met my wish. The game is being very kind to me today. I'm very happy with this. So, I like Digimon are fighting now. It's kind of weird today. But, so now I'm here for this. Oh, I just like something in another language a moment ago. That's weird. Oh. Uh, I was wondering why the game froze for a second. It's because they, uh, Picked up on the digital devices. <laughs> we didn't get to see what the on screen text was. But, so apparently, the game's been kind to me. I did explain already, though, that I like this game a lot for a number of reasons. It's not, it's not insanely memorable or anything like that. It's not something I adore by any means, but it's nice. Can I pick up the digital device? No, can't really decide. But then, <laughs> Guru Mon forced you into it. But that'll have to be it for that. So, one last time! Digimon Rumble Arena 2. Yep. So, first I have a couple things to show you before I finish off the game. One, yeah, the game is more clear, I guess. But this actually has some cool stuff in that it lets you control a variety of interesting things. So I'm just gonna add... ...some random... ...CPUs. I can get to choose a skill on a scale of 1 to 5, too. Oh, that's not... that's balanced. Awesome. I'm not gonna actually play around, but... So you have different variety of brawls, you have something that's time, just the most KOs, kind of Smash Bros style, you have what's well, basically a stock match, like we've been doing this entire time, you have all these other things that we've seen already throughout the game. And you decide to play wherever you feel like, including Chaos Wasteland with four different players, which is kind of weird. And then you have a time limit to change, or the score limit, a fall limit, whatever you want. And here's the interesting thing, game speed, this is exactly what it sounds like. It changes how quickly the game plays. The game will... I don't know if it's double speed or what, or and I don't know if slow is half speed, but the game will literally play at a different speed if you did change game speed. I don't know why they include this option, but it's kind of cool. I like it a lot. It's weird. Anyways, though, I just wanted to mention that because I like it a lot. I actually don't even know what practice is like. I think it's just normal fighting. I could check real quick, actually, I guess. I'll also press star without any, adding any CPU players, but just kind of does stuff if you do that. Do something random. Practice mode, it seems like, I have a call. I have a flame on. I don't think it's like the practice mode you get in Smash Bros. Brawl or anything like that. I'd have to see. Yeah, practice mode. I think you just kind of bop each other as much as you want until you decide to stop. I'm pretty sure that's all there is to it. No, I was gonna myself off the wise just to demonstrate what would happen, but alright, you can do that for me, Flame On. That's kind of all there is to it. But there's more interesting stuff than just different game modes. What I find especially interesting, actually, to be perfectly honest, is something on this game's records. Now, you have some cool stuff like let's see what your high scores are. I don't know if I ever actually beat the highest high scores. Nope. Oh, I'm multiplayer, never mind. Skill player. Oh, yeah, Black Hawk, come on. Got number one. I was very satisfied with that score. I was thinking, yeah, I got a really high score. And now I'm happy with it. Look at that. Look at the similarity in the scores between Gabamon and Black Gabamon. Black Gabamon is your superior. It's fun. So it's kind of weird how you get points in multiplayer. I don't know how that works. And yeah, this was a cre these, nah, this was a credit sequence I was thinking of. I thought you just like saw credits in the game. I don't know. Oh no, it actually plays the game <laughs> with Malamiotis Mon. Beautiful. So that's the same credits you're looking at before, actually. And the most interesting thing, the Digidex. You can look at a description of every character you unlocked, and every Digievolution on theirs as well. It just lets you see their names, for one. Which is nice. And their stats. Like, how heavy they are, how hard they hit, I guess. Things like that. How much health they have. And how quickly they move. It's actually really nice. Unique, to say the least. And you can see a, move, a list of some of their moves. And I recommended combo to use with them too. It's kinda cool. 
something amazing. I'm not going to show off everything here, but... Soul Shield. Yeah, see, whenever something has a special effect, the game generally mentions it. For example, Soul Shield. That's actually a different... It has a different effect than the shields that other characters have. So it says, hey, here's something you can use. In this case, Gruesome Grab. If you grab somebody as Dustmon, you impale them. And it does damage over time. Black Jumon, Black Galenbon. No, it doesn't mention anything about you be able to grab your opponent's action. Which makes kind of sad, but oh well. Walking Dead. I think that's what, Ga what normal Galenbon had. Galenbon. Which makes kind of sad. I didn't even shut off, but... Uh, sorry, I guess. But... I did you actually kind of played it up a little bit, but I think it's actually really cool. Just that it's included. Let's say we're getting to learn about characters in some way. It's not much, but something. So I guess that unless there's something especially interesting hiding the options, that'll probably have to be it. Yep, that's all there is to it, I guess. That'll have to be it, I guess, for Let's Play Digimon Rumble Arena 2. You know what? Can I make this announcement at one time? Nope. Sad. So in that case, whew, I'm done with that. And I did not really intend to be playing any other Digimon games just because there aren't really any other that others I've ever played that well that I've ever played in general, so I don't have any history with any of them. Digimon World Series is apparently pretty nice, but it's not the kind of game that I do Let's Plays of, so oh well. And I hadn't heard good stuff about All-Star Rumble, so I don't intend to play that either. And that, plus my 360 can't actually play it. I think those are only released on the 360. I'm wrong. But regardless, it's something I it's not something I intend to get, whether or not I'm right about that. So I guess uh, this will be on my little one-off Let's Plays where I don't really touch a series again. Oh well. It was nice going back to the, into the world of Digimon for just a little bit, dipping my toes in the water to see what the characters were, I guess, if nothing else. I recognize most of them, because they're mostly the uh, Adventures cast, I think. I can't I keep thinking the two names of the seasons confused. But still, it was nice to see it all again. Some of it, you know, I know it's been something like a decade since I've seen the show. Oh well, though. So, and apparently a lot of you guys also liked seeing uh, these characters again, too. A lot of you guys were talking about all the nostalgia you had with this game. It's something I always love to see when I get those kinds of comments, because it tells me I'm kind of doing something right with playing these sorts of old games. There's still some value in playing the old games that nobody really talks about or thinks about or even owns in many cases. There's just always somebody that at one point owned that game or still does and loved it. It's nice. So I like getting to spread that feeling around everybody. Spread it, lavishly rub it on all their faces. As they get to remember something from their childhood or past, or just see something new that reminds them of something they liked at some point. And there's always somebody to be satisfied. So, I enjoy catering to that minority, because, I mean, there are plenty of people catering to the majority already, so, well, I tap into something new. I myself find, I myself find myself, for some good choice, I find myself in that situation a lot where I'm just in love with the series or a game that nobody ever seems to know much or anything I want to talk about or give any recognition anywhere or even play. So I like filling in those gaps because oftentimes I'm part of those gaps. So insert it my gift from me to you guys. But of course it's not a selfless one because I enjoy it as well. <laughs> Getting back to these games to play them, it's all fun. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this half as much as I did going back through this game through something of a memory lane, memory lane for me and evidently for some of you too. That'll be it for this episode and this series, Let's Play Digimon Rumble Arena 2. See you wherever, guys, whatever playthrough happens to be next that you end up watching, if any. But, even if you've never seen another one, if you're here watching into this one, I guess you enjoyed it. I'm happy about that. Bye, guys.